Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope all of you have subscribed. As you guys can see, I have no makeup on and today is just one of those days where it's just to spend the day vlog with me and kind of get to see what I'm getting up to today. I don't have a lot planned, but I do have a nail appointment today at a brand new Tammy Taylor in Danvin Square. If you guys haven't heard about it, please make sure to check it out if you live in the Four Ways, Danvin area. There is a brand new Tammy Taylor in Danvin that just opened up. And they actually invited me to obviously get my toes done, to get a jellish done because your girl is a Tammy Taylor girl. So... <laughs> I know my voice is croaky in the morning, guys. My voice is very, very croaky in the morning. Um, I literally sound like a dragon. But today is going to be filled with nothing but work, work, work. So I'm going to be going to get my nails done. And then I am filming later with Candace. And yeah, I think it's just going to be one of those days where you guys just spend the day with me. So if you guys want to see what I get up to and you guys want to come with me to my nail appointment, then let's go. Okay, so I'm walking out without a mask, right? Because my mask is in my bag. And let me just say, guys, I've never in my life met someone as sweet as Muriel. It's actually unbelievable. Like, she's just so sweet. Like... <laughs> so, yeah, guys, I'd like to wish uh, Muriel success and in her store. And if there's anybody who's based this side in four ways and you want to get your nails done, definitely go to Tammy Taylor because they're very, very nice. The service is impeccable. Um... I just want to get in the car and quickly talk about uh, being in there, right? So the one thing I noticed with this Tammy Taylor is that they pay attention to detail. As soon as I walked in, everything was just matchy and everything looked so nice and everything was so prim and proper. But also, they had a little detangle section in their store, which I think is for wigs and stuff. And then they also had other extra services like massages, facials, uh, um waxes and i don't know if any other uh tammy taylor has that sort of offering but i've never really noticed and i've been to quite a lot of tammy taylors so i really really want to thank muriel and her team i want to thank them so much for being so courteous when it came to me um i think a lot of the people in the store didn't even know what i was doing they didn't know why i was filming um so i think they were just really nice you could already tell from the ambience that they're so sweet they're such sweet people it's absolutely unbelievable uh, i'm definitely going to be coming back to this tammy taylor because i feel like i've already made a relationship with a lot of the people here it wasn't even just limited to getting my nails done it's just how they treat you um i looked like a hot ass mess and they still treated me like i'm worth five million and that says a lot on its own so Okay, guys, let me go home. I'm, I'm done ranting about Tammy Taylor Danefern. I really like it. Um, I really don't want to lie because it wasn't an experience where, like, I was being offered free products. It was more of, like, a, I really wanted to pay attention to the experience. And the experience was better than I imagined. Like, it's, it's the weirdest thing. It's so weird. 
like the nails were great but the experience like i could go back there just for the experience it's just muriel i wish you all the best um i really hope that tammy taylor dane fern becomes a success because honestly it's definitely worth my coins tammy taylor has been worth my coins but you know what tammy taylor dane fern has put in the extra like sweetness like you can tell that you're in dane fern like <laughs> you can tell you can just tell but anyway guys let me go home with my ashy ass lips i mean it's ashy they look kind of ashy Jesus. Okay, it's not it's not my lips being ashy, it's actually the camera. Let me go home because I need to film right now and I need to go prep and get ready to meet up with Candace so we can film. So yeah. I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, um so it's been a couple of hours now. I've actually just been chilling here at home for a few hours watching um Life with Kelly Kumalo and it's actually been a really really interesting show. I think I might just do a reaction video on it very soon. Keep on the lookout for that. But um, I have to go now. I'm getting ready to leave the house because I have a appointment with a brand called The Drip Clinic where I'm just going to be getting a drip. Like I've been feeling like my skin is horrible lately. I've been feeling like it's so dark. So I'm just going to go get a drip to kind of just, you know, revitalize my system. And I need to leave now because I need to be there by 1.30. So yeah, guys, let's go and get my drip done. I'm actually really excited. So yeah. Let me just get ready to go in the car. Honestly, you guys, um, I'm genuinely like excited. I can't even like hide my excitement right now. But um, yeah. So I'm going to be looking forward to this. Oh, my car's outside. My car's outside, guys. My Uber is outside. Hi, the Dino's guy. Shab shab. Uber drivers locked in the cars and whatnot. I am in the car. We can go. Um, so we're currently at the offices waiting to obviously go in, um, fill in the indemnity form that I had to fill in, and now I'm just ready to get my drip on. Ready to get your drip on? <laughs> so yeah, guys, I'm waiting to get in. I'm quite nervous. I don't know what's supposed to happen, but I can't wait to get home and then make some dinner. So yeah. Okay, I have to ask. I'm a vlogger. I'm a YouTuber. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. <laughs>
Hey guys, um, so just finished now at um, the drip clinic. Um, I got my drip. It was actually not that long. It was a little under an hour. I think it was about 40 minutes max. And I think the 40 minutes normally just contributed to, you know, sitting up and finding out what I wanted and stuff like that. Um, I will be going back there because the lady is extremely nice. She was very, very nice. Um, she did obviously give me a drip according to what I needed for my skin and stuff like that. But I think a lot of the reason was I just needed it because I felt like my skin is really dull and dark and dry. So now I'm we're heading home and yeah, I'm going to just prepare to make a dinner, look at my school stuff and um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Hey guys, um, I'm finally home. I just got home. It's been safe to say, ugh, it's safe to say that it's been a really, really long day. Um, I had a lot to get done, but essentially I did go get the drip and it was quite short. It actually wasn't as long as I expected it to be. I think the only reason why it was a little under an hour was because I guess it was the sitting up and kind of finding out what kind of drip we want to get and what's best for my body. So the lady did mention, I forgot her name, I feel so bad, but I'll mention all the details in the description box. The lady did mention that the glutathione, which is what I did, it was a mixture of glutathione and a couple of other multivitamins, B12, things like that. But I did mention to her that um, I wanted a drip that will make my skin glow and she mentioned that that was the best one. And she did say that I'm not gonna see any effects until 48 hours from now, so maybe i'll see the glow in a couple of days and stuff like that and i am really considering going for a um a peel like a, um, a facial of sorts because uh, my skin has been really horrible haven't been sleeping only now like my sleeping habits are starting to make sense again and i'm starting to eat again which is great so yeah I have a couple of things to do now, so work-wise, school-wise, I have a couple of emails I need to answer. Um, by the grace of God, <laughs> from the last um, video that I did with you guys, I did manage to get a little campaign here and there, so I'm feeling really motivated this time. I'm really excited to see what the future holds in terms of work-wise, and hopefully I'll share more parts of my life. and. Maybe in the future I will do a video because I get a lot of DMs from you guys asking me what other ways can one make money and I'd be lying if I said that I knew because I don't. I myself am broke every other day. <laughs> the broke girl diaries. But yeah guys, um, I've been saying a lot of ums. I'm actually really tired. So I'm just going to do a little bit of schoolwork right now. I'm just going to check a couple of emails. I'm just going to do a little bit of editing. There's a couple of videos that I need to get done throughout the day. And then I'm going to make dinner later. And it's going to be a nice little recipe that I actually learned online. So yeah, guys, I'll see you guys when it's dinner time. Hey guys, um, so I'm finally back from obviously uh, recording. Um, I spent the day kind of just doing a lot more content for the channel. Um, I know that I haven't uploaded in about five days now, uh, but I do plan on uploading for tomorrow. Those who follow me on social media know that I've had a really hectic weekend this past weekend and it's just been emotionally taxing and draining to say the least. But, you know, um, we pray about it and we move, honestly. Uh, I've never been a fan of, <laughs> I've never been a fan of prayer, which is pretty ironic because I went to a Catholic school for 13 years. So I've never really been a fan of prayer. I've never really felt like it works or it, it does wonders or anything like that. But I found myself praying a lot more than normal lately. And it's because emotionally I've just been going through all of it, like, Ndegoa. Like, and every time I say Ndegoa, I think of Michali, Michali Kozwa, not Michali Ndamase, Michali Kozwa. I think that's how you say her name, I'm not sure. But she's actually, oh my god, I love how she speaks. Oh my god, her voice is so calming. But anyway, um, what's happening on TV? Tonight, I'm going to be making a very simple, easy dinner. Uh, if any of you follow me on Instagram, you guys will know that I've kind of cut meat off completely. I don't eat meat. I eat meat like once every like three, four days. And even in eating it, like I eat really small portions. So I've cut off meat thanks to a friend of mine called Ritla. 
cut off meat, completely focusing on eating other foods because um, meat kind of sits in your body for like 72 hours. But there is a really big difference when you actually cut meat or you have meatless dinners. But because today is Meatless Monday, I want to show you guys a little noodle recipe that I made actually yesterday. And a lot of people really liked it, wanted to see it, um, wanted to see me make it for you guys. So I'm going to make it. And it's also really great for any of you who have um, financial constraints. I know that I've been making salmon and lamb do lamb chops but for anybody who just wants something simple because uh on mondays i hardly ever eat anyway but because i'm alone today in particular i don't have to make anything too extravagant or anything because it's not like anyone is here so i'm just going to make something that i think would be really delicious and i'm going to show you guys how to basically turn your noodles from noodles to excuse me from two minute noodles to like ramen noodles um so yeah if you guys want to see how I make my noodles then please keep watching okay hi guys I know there's a lot of you guys who are like noodle fans and before I begin I want to talk to you guys about these a lot of my friends have been asking me where you guys get the fire noodles and I just want to show them to you guys this is essentially what they look like and I got these from the spa in Mayersdale. If any of you live in the south, Alberton side, uh, Mayersdale side, um, you can get uh, fire noodles at uh, the spa in Mayersdale. But I don't think I took the hot noodles. I just took the, um, I think these are like the normal ones that aren't so hot because I don't like hot noodles at all. And because I'm not doing the spicy noodle challenge, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not doing that. So... I'm going to be using these particular noodles and I'll tell you why. Okay. These particular noodles are much bigger than these noodles. Now, these noodles are the roast lamb flavored noodles that I got from Woolies. And then these are obviously normal like ramen noodles that you get uh, Chinese and everything. And they just taste better. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but these noodles or like ramen noodles have so much more flavor than your normal Maggi noodles with the chicken. Like when I tasted these ones, I was like, what the hell were we eating? Like, What were we eating? So I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my noodles featuring these ones. And you guys will realize why you don't need to eat these noodles anymore because they ain't, they ain't shit.
Diapeka, ha! Is this me? Cause it is. <laughs> mm. Someone in the comments asked me if I could really like expand into ASMR, and I really want to, and I'm really thinking about it because a lot, a lot, a lot of you guys DM me on Instagram and some I love watching you chew, and I'm like, I know. <laughs> I know how you feel. I love watching people chew too. It's so interesting. Watching people eat has been like, it gives, it gives me so much joy. Like I wish I could describe how it makes me feel. If I actually knew how to put it into words about watching people eat, you guys would totally understand. But those who actually enjoy watching me eat, I completely, completely, I get it. Okay guys, so that is it. I've just had my dinner. Thank you so much for spending your day with me. I know it's been a useless day of doing absolutely nothing. But honestly, I think making that little ramen noodle dish honestly just made my evening 10 times better. I was having a really, really horrible day today. But I think obviously just focusing on creating content and focusing on what makes me happy has given me so much joy in the past few hours that honestly i've been having a rough 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 three days but thank you so much to everybody that's watched and thank you to everyone who's been patient with me most importantly thank you to everyone who's helped me get to 27,000 subscribers we are 3,000 away from the 30k giveaway i'm actually excited because now i can actually start planning for it and getting people ready for it because i feel like we're gonna reach the 30,000 mark in august in women's month and it's like the best it's honestly it gives me so much excitement because i love women you know i love men too but i really love women <laughs> so yeah guys that is it um it's a goodbye from me and i will see you guys soon thank you so much for spending your day with me and yeah have a good evening <laughs>